Hello, Steve. Good morning. Hi. So this is Sabet, one of our beneficiary. So Beth, can you tell something about uh, yourself and your story to Mr. Steve? Ah, uh, so good sangin bayan ako. His husband left her, so she's the one who took care of the kids mm -hmm. and find means for the kids to eat and to, to provide for the kids. Yeah. So 2013, uh, Typhoon Landa hit Limery mm -hmm. and they were really devastated and very sad because the house uh, was broken by, by the, the strong typhoon. Yeah. So she's the only one who find the means and um, she did all her best to provide a really small house for the kids mm -hmm. and for her to be safe, to be safe yeah. every day. Yeah. She, she's working f for other people like uh, uh, washing the clothes, doing mm -hmm. some household chores for other people, and that, that, that's the means of her to, to gain, to earn money uh, and to yeah. provide, for the, provide food for the family yeah. every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And does she uh, mm -hmm. work in the sa What do you work in the camp? In the Okay. So they're working sa, in the farm, in the cornfield, yeah. um, or in the in, in the rice fields as well. Mm -hmm. So any means that she she could she could just find money or she could earn money and provide for the kids. That's how she is. Yeah. yeah so well, yeah, that's the story of Sabet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there any assistance provided by the local authorities or the government that that helps in terms of um, uh, food or money or or? I not remember. Ka pasang for peace. Okay. So they are the a member of the four, they call it here four piece. So that's a program of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. Yeah. So they provide um, assistance, money assistance mm -hmm. for for um, some families. Yeah. So they provide money every month. Yeah. And that would, that is a program that would help um, that the, the parents mm -hmm. to send the, the kids to school as well. I mean, I think it's very brave and, cor and courageous. Um, <laughs> You've been able to, you know, look after yourself and also to provide for your children in the very tough times. Mm -hmm. So I think you've been incredibly um, brave in um, being able to provide for yourself and and for your family in the difficult time after losing your home. It's just hard for me to comprehend uh, everything uh, and how strong you need to be to do that. But. I understand that you're going to be a recipient of one of the, the new houses. Mm -hmm. So I hope that that gives you some some hope that you will have a, a strong house that's being built that will be cyclone proof and, and will withstand these, these big storms and big rain and give you something, a house that's safe for you and your family. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank thanks for sharing your story with me. I know it's difficult. Thank you. 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 Thank you.